talk about Operation Fortune. Well, actually, technically, Alan's going to talk about it because I didn't see it. Uh, it is opening in theaters this weekend. Yeah, it's, it's open Jason, now. It's open now. It's Jason Statham and uh, in Aubrey Plaza. Aubrey yeah. Plaza, yeah. and then by Clear, yeah, right. And then uh, the other actor that I only remember from uh, the movie Pearl Harbor. Yeah, Josh Hartnett. Josh Hartnett. We yeah, and then um, Hugh Grant is in it, and uh, Carrie Ellis. Tell us about Operation Fortune, Alan. Yes. Hey, you know, I saw Operation Fortune, so you don't have to. Um, <laughs> the Guy Ritchie movie, uh, Jason Statham plays this uh, this super spy that, that is kind of on the outs uh, character we're all pretty familiar with, with uh, J Jason Statham. So apparently uh, a... A, uh, mil a, a top secret intelligence uh, facility has been infiltrated. A secret device has been stolen. No one knows what that device is. No one knows who's going to buy it, and no one knows who's going to sell it. And so, to the rescue comes Jason Statham, who is uh, who is this uh, covert ops agent who has learned to cheat the system. And so, he's currently on a personal mental health holiday, uh, and uh, and the government is paying for it. And uh, so they bring him in. Uh, they pull his team together. Aubrey Plaza plays the girl in the chair. The the uh, you know the computer expert. Uh, let's see. Uh, Bugsy Malone plays JJ, uh, another guy who can do everything. And then Josh Hartnett plays uh, an actor, and that that becomes important later on. Um, suffice it to say, a lot of fighting. Uh, they find out that Hugh Grant, uh, he is uh, this kind of a shady character who is basically a an illegal arms facilitator so he is the middleman between uh people who don't want to who we don't who don't want to be known as buying something and uh people who are selling things and don't want to be known and so um so hugh grant's character is uh, infatuated with josh hartnett's character who is a tom cruise like actor and so uh, so the team grabs this actor, pairs him up with Aubrey Plaza to pose as his girlfriend. They infiltrate. A lot of action, a lot of fighting, a lot of intrigue. And uh, it's a very bland, bland, bland movie. Um, uh, you know, I'm I, halfway through, I'm like, you know, I can just walk out right now. I literally could just walk out. And, um, you know, action scenes, very bland, very boring. We've seen it all. Um it, it, Guy Ritchie goes for this Ocean's Eleven type swagger in the film and just doesn't pull it off. Uh, I, I think there's some shorthand he believes he has where he could just put Jason Statham on screen and we'll just buy into the fact that this is that he, this is a cool movie. Um, Aubrey Plaza, I like her, but she constantly walks that line between cool and annoying. And in this movie, I would say she's seventy, she's thirty, seventy, cool, annoying. She's mostly annoying in this movie, um, and so it, 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 it there's this mojo that it tries to build that is just not he's just not able to to capture it. The action scenes again are are fairly standard, nothing to to write home about. Um, there's a there's a film coming out soon that both Chris and I have seen that the action is amazing. This this falls far short of it. So. Um, yeah, you know, it's it's a very bland, mundane action movie. I, I would just say skip it and, and go see Creed 3. Yeah, um, I, just from like the poster, the trailer, whatever, it looked hugely generic mm -hmm. to me. I mean, it just looks super generic. Am I? Uh... Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's not a single action sequence I can really think of. Uh, as compared to the other movie we'll talk about in a few weeks, uh, there are three action scenes. I play in my mind over and over and over again. <laughs> yeah, well, I know what movie you're talking about. Yeah. We'll we'll definitely we'll definitely discuss it.